So it's time for another one of our featured builds again, and this time around the video is sponsored by Thermaltake. The company is celebrating its 25th anniversary with a range of Hydrangea Blue products. So we'll be putting all this lot together along with a RTX 4080 Super from Zotac and an Intel Core i9-14900K CPU. So make sure you stick around and see how this one turns out. So as I say, this is a sponsored build video and Thermaltake has sent along a load of its Hydrangea Blue Special Edition 25th Anniversary products. We'll start with the case. So the case we're going to be using for the build is the Thermaltake CTE E600MX in Hydrangea Blue. It's available on Amazon UK, priced at £213. You can get it slightly cheaper from Scan, priced at £199.99. The CTE E600MX is available in three different colours, including black, white, and this special 25th anniversary Hydrangea Blue. It's a dual chamber mid tower chassis that has inherited Thermaltake's CTE form factor designed to deliver optimal thermal performance to critical components. It features a three-way GPU installation option, interchangeable glass or mesh front panels, excellent cooling support including up to 420 millimeter radiator installation and up to 1420 or 1240 millimeter fans. Cooling the CPU will be a TH360 V2 Ultra Hydrangea Blue. It's an all-in-one liquid CPU cooler, 360 millimeter radiator, so three 120 fans. You can pick this up from Amazon UK. It features a 2.1 inch LCD panel with 480 by 480 resolution that can display customizable images, GIFs, videos, real-time system information, and local time and weather reports. It includes CT120 ARGB Hydrangea Blue fans with a PWM speed range of 500 to 2000 RPM, 57.05 cubic feet per minute maximum airflow 2.23 millimeters h2o maximum static pressure and low noise output of 25.8 decibels it is also equipped with a 27 millimeter thick aluminium radiator 460 millimeter long tubing with white braided sleeving a solid copper cold plate and it's compatible with all current intel and amd desktop platforms because the cte e600 mx supports loads of fans on the floor up the side in the roof and at the rear, we've got a load of the Thermaltake Swafan EX ARGB sink fans. We've got three packs of the 140 millimeter version, so the Swafan 14s, and a couple of packs of the Swafan 12 120 millimeter versions in the special edition Hydrangea blue color scheme. These are also available at Amazon UK, priced at about £83 for the 120mm 3-packs and £93 for the 140mm 3-packs. Swafan EX ARGB Sync feature quick connect magnetic connectors which keep the fans together while passing through the 12 volt PWM signal and 5 volt ARGB lighting connections as well as swappable forward and reverse fan blades for fast installation and setup. They also feature two independent ARGB lighting zones with an inner ring of six LEDs and an outer ring of 14 LEDs. Swafan EX have a PWM speed range of 500 to 2000 RPM, maximum air pressure of 2.39 millimeters H2O and maximum airflow of 57.11 cubic feet per minute with a maximum noise output of 30.6 decibels. Then providing the juice for all this system is the Thermaltake Tough Power GFA3 1050 watt power supply it's an 80 plus gold rated unit fully modular and it's also in the hydrangea blue color scheme it comes with an msrp price of 169.99 us dollars 80 plus gold certified fully modular atx 3.1 compatible equipped with a native pcie 12 volt 2 by 6 connector designed to comply with the latest graphics cards and their different ways of connecting power via three times eight pin connections or a single 12 volt 2 by 6 connector the GFA3 also features a 120mm fluid dynamic bearing fan for quiet operation and built-in protection such as overcurrent, overvoltage and under voltage protection as well as a 10-year warranty. The CTE E600MX in Hydrangea Blue. It has kind of a blue and white colour scheme. All the outer panels are Hydrangea Blue and then the interior, so the motherboard tray and the floor and the roof, the fan brackets and everything inside the case are white. So we're going to stick with that blue and white theme. 
for the whole of the build. So the motherboard I'll be using is this Gigabyte Z790 Aorus Pro X with an Intel Core i9-14900K CPU. Zotac has very kindly sent us along one of their Zotac Gaming RTX 4080 Super Trinity OC White Edition graphics cards. Being one of the new Nvidia Super Series, not only does it offer more cores and faster memory than the regular 4080 for the same price, but of course you get all the usual RTX benefits. As we know this includes DLSS to massively boost frame rate which took us from sub 30 FPS at native 4K in Cyberpunk 2077 to about 80 FPS with DLSS 3 on. DLSS 3.5 also offers improvements in image quality when ray tracing thanks to its AI capabilities while Reflex is also on hand to reduce latency to about a third making your games a bit more responsive. For memory in the system it's another Thermaltake Hydrangea Blue special edition edition product it's the tough ram xg rgb d5 so this is a 32 gigabyte kit 2 by 16 gigabyte modules and it's ddr5 5600 mega transfers per second storage it's just a single m.2 drive it's the corsair mp700 it's just a one terabyte drive but it's pci gen 5 as i say the system fans will be a combination of 120 and 140 millimeter swafan ex ARGB sync fans in hydrangea blue. They've got a blue and white theme to them also. So let's get on with the build, see how it turns out.
So build's complete, system's booted into Windows and I'm just running the 3D Mark Speedway stress test just to check on temperatures, make sure everything's running as it should be. All the case fans are running around 700 RPM at a fixed speed. The CPU cooler fans, I've made a custom curve for those so the fans don't really ramp up into the higher RPMs until the CPU reaches about 80 degrees C. I fitted 340 millimeter fans on the floor. They are with the reverse blades installed and they're acting as intake. So they should be feeding the graphics card with a bit of cool intake air. The rear fans, they're also 340 millimeter fans. Again, with the reverse blades fitted. They're also acting as intakes and this back dust filter is installed so it should keep the system from getting too much dust inside. I've also installed 220 millimeter fans in the roof. They have the standard forward blades on so they're exhaust fans. The CPU AIO, I swapped the stock fans from the AIO to the Swafan EX ARGB sync fans. They are the 320 millimeter fans. Also running the reverse blades so they are intakes. Personally, I'm not a massive fan of the Hydrangea blue color, but once you get all the other Hydrangea blue components inside the Hydrangea blue case, it does look good. It will obviously appeal to some people. I'm sure Manchester City fans that are interested in gaming will like this similar color scheme to their kit. Uh, so this looks all right. It's a nice build. It's quite an easy case to build inside. I didn't come across any major issues you just have to kind of get your head around working in this kind of flipped orientation but it does look good i've been running this 3d mark speedaway stress test for about 20 minutes i'd say now and the cpu temperature is around about 50 degrees that stabilized around 50 degrees and the gpu is around about 70 degrees but this zotac trinity oc card the cooler is quite compact. It's only about two and a half slots thick, so it would be great to use in some small form factor builds. Probably a couple of degrees warmer than some other coolers, but I do like that compact design. It would be a good one for some mini ITX builds. I'd like to use that card again in the future in maybe a mini ITX build. I think it would work really well. But it does look good in here too. The uh, mounting system in this case, it puts the GPU right at the front of the case on view. For some people, that is the, the main part of the system. So I like how that works. And as I say, overall, build looks good. So while we're on the theme of anniversary builds with Thermal Take, Hydrangea Blue, marking 25 years of Thermal Take, there's also a pretty important anniversary coming up for Kit Guru soon. We'll be marking our 15th anniversary with a very special build. It'll be probably the next video you see from me and you will not want to miss that. I don't want to give away too much at the moment, but you'll definitely want to watch that video and see what we do with that build. So that's the Thermal Take Hydrangea Blue build completed. Let me know what you think of the build in the YouTube comment section. If you have enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so. If you enjoy what we do here at KitGuru and you want to help support us, you can always head over to the store, pick up some merch, or you could even subscribe to our Patreon. And as always, if you want to catch up on all the in-depth technical reviews, head over to our website.